Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. I went and formalized my bot trap a little bit and kind of made some modifications to make it grab construction bots. Um, I set these four RoboPorts here. They've all got the, the inserters inserting into boxes. And uh, basically, I, I set it up here kind of in the middle of nowhere, and I baited it. I baited it with a blueprint that drops, um, we, we just dropped uh, basically 2,000 uh, blue belt. So the construction bots are going to come up here and build the blue belt. And once they are done building the blue belt, they are going to retire to one of these robo ports where they get pulled out and, and, and put into the system. Now you can see some logi bots coming and grabbing some of these guys out of the boxes and taking them away. Um, I refactored a bit of the building train to be able to grab robots, and uh, that is one of the reasons why I'm pulling these guys out of the system. We've got 2,500 in there currently, not counting the ones that have already been pulled out. I'd like to get that down to, like, maybe 100, maybe 200, and uh, and get get these bots available. We, we, there's places that these bots need to be. So um, this is going to go and grab 2,000 of those out of the system, hopefully. And um, I do have, okay, we have 975 Logi bots currently in the system, and that is because I have 25 right here. I'm going to go ahead and let them go, and we should have a full 1,000. It's just a matter of getting these construction bots. So I'm just going to let this run and see if we can get a lot of these guys pulled out of the system. And uh, then what we need to do... If we still need to pull more, is we just we just pull all this stuff up, and then we go and uh, place it down again, and the rest of those bots will come. I also did a little bit more work. I kind of redid a lot of these factories uh, so that they're producing stuff that we actually need in in significant quantities. I put some beacons on these speed beacon or speed uh, module factories so that we can actually get some of these chests made. Uh, we are running a little bit low. I added those to the building train. And I went and removed all the other bot traps that were all around. So we just have that one centrally located. I put some combinators up here. I don't know if that was obvious. Yeah, look at all these bots coming in to lay down the track and they will get captured. Um, yeah, I put some combinators as well as some chests there. So if I wanted to, at any point, I could just flip this one on and it would set all these chests to go to either construction or Logibots. And uh, it'll, it would do that thing where the it would it would go into the loop where the Logibots would, would fall into the trap and then go and and go to the buffer chest and then go back to the ro the loop, the loop that would that would catch them. So if we ever need to go and pull more Logibots out, we can, but I think we're at a good number. There's a thousand. I think that should be plenty. And if not, we can easily add more. I know where there are some. Okay, we're down to 1,600 construction bots now, which is good. And they are getting put up here into the building train. Yeah, I, I dedicated a car here to robot stuff, um, boxes, uh, robo ports, and construction bots. Then I added this one that has uh, electric furnaces, modules, beacons, and assembling machines. And just rebalance these a little bit. Uh, we're going to need a lot more fast inserters. I only had one stack. Now we have a lot more. And these two are pretty much the same. I just put a lot more on the ground in this one. And uh, we still have our trash car at the end. This is a single-sided train. And even though... Even though we only have uh, the one engine and we put extra two cars on it, this thing is flat out moving because we have upgraded it to do nuclear fuel breaking force. Go ahead and get the next cannon. So yeah, look at this. It just goes. It's just like, yeah, no problem. Let's go. So it is nice. I was a little bit concerned about my train size, but this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So two more cars on our ore trains and it'll have two engines. It's going to have no problem moving. No problem at all. Once we get the nuclear fuel set up. All right, so I am heading over here now to where the smelting is. And you may notice that it looks a tad bit different. Um, of course, I did put some defense over here on the side. But I also mirrored it. So we have one side here. And then I just basically made a mirror of it. 
and uh, and placed it on this side. I added some robo ports in here as well. Um, those aren't for logistics so much as they are for construction because I am tired of sitting around and watching all my bots recharge. So what I want to do is just place a couple of these chests down and grab some construction bots, like maybe a hundred of them. That would be fine. And let's see, what do we need here? We need... Okay, the numbers are jumping all around for reasons that aren't clear to me. But uh, we're going to need... We need some of these. I'm going to go ahead and say three stacks of those and three stacks of those. And we're going to need some electric furnaces. I'm going to say three stacks. And we need a train stop. All right, and I'll just put these in the chests. Those, those, those. Train stop. Should be good, right? And uh, put a couple, put like 100 bots in the system. And they will go off and complete the system for me here. All right, so um, we want to call this smelt um, iron one, maybe? Does that, that sound like it may work? Uh, let's call it smelt iron ore one to signify that that is a drop. And then... Oh, we're missing a train stop here, too. Let's go get another one. I'm going to grab just a stack, and I'm also going to grab some signals, because I think there may be a signaling problem in this base. All right, so you are smelt iron you plates and we need a, another train stop right there and we have another stop here and uh, I'm not quite sure about this naming convention uh, as far as the numbers, if this is going to, if these are going to be named the same or not, or if we're going to separate them out, um, right now I don't believe it matters. But uh, yeah, I mirrored it, so this line coming up the middle is going to be for the outbound uh, iron, and the ones here we're going to be able to double this one up and set just another one over here on the side. I've got this blueprinted. And since I just made a couple of changes, we probably want to redo that. But before we do that, I want to take a look at this rail. Because for some reason... Um, let's just rename this one really quick. Let's call it or... Why won't you let me type? You will. It's just, I'm impatient. Okay, so let's add a station um, or two and circuit condition, and let's go to it. And it says no path. And I get in and do it in manual mode. I can get to it no problem. Okay, let's just back up here and take a look, because I see a problem right here. That signal is backwards. That is why that doesn't work. So let's fix that. You're backwards too. Oh, okay, so I just have my signals on the wrong side of the tracks. That is the problem. All right, so we just need one right there. Take that one up. You're done. Go there. That was my problem all along. I just had the signals bass backwards. Okay, let's uh, go and check these others real quick just to make sure. You guys are on the right side? Yes. 
you're on the right side, you are all on the right side. And as are you. Okay, that works a little bit better. Let's go ahead and place a station. Place it right here. I'm just going to call this um, smelt supply, or let's call it smelt building. So we can tell our building train to go to, instead of this one, we can add a station called smelt building, circuit condition, and tell it to go to it. And it works. Okay, I just had my signals criss crisscrossed. Okay, and we can unload what we need. Now, do we just have, okay, you need 23 more inserters. Give you, give you 25. And uh, we can take these up and put them back in the train. And all of this should be built and almost ready to go. So we've got the inbound line for that. Uh, we don't quite have the outbound line. Let's go ahead and get that completed. Okay, you are going to come up and be outbound. Let's see, we need to do a little bit of signaling here. Oh, I don't have my robots in. Um, let's 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 put them back in. There we go. that and put a signal like right there probably have to do that because that's going to be a cross but um for now that's all on one block that's good um let's see probably need to block this off good we want to throw another one in here just to break it up a bit That'd be good. All right, so what do we want to do about this middle guy here? I think what I would like to do is take it up and hmm, I almost want to take him like coming the other way. So if we came up like this, and just ran him straight out this way. I don't know, do we wanna leave that much of a gap? I don't think that's necessary. Let's uh, go ahead and bring it in a little bit. And maybe we can start turning right there and we'll see where that ends up. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're not gonna get turn. It's like an extra piece in there. I don't know if I can not have that. Nope, guess not. That's fine. Um, we saved a, a couple of inches there. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, and do I want to have him come off of that line and then exit back onto that line? Does that make sense? Maybe. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think it'll work. Um, let's go ahead and place another one of these down. Okay, now I have this 
blueprint right here that was for both of them and I just made some changes to it so I think I want to go ahead and take it again that has the most updated version of this do like that right there smelting mirror board right and I changed the icons here to make it a little bit easier to see it just to make the ore go. All right, now I should be able to just, well, let's see. There's some chest and stuff that don't need to be in there. We don't need that. I think all that will be good though. Okay, let's see if we can get this lined up. Um, you are going to be right like that. Okay, and my guys are going to place a lot of stuff. And then we can go and set. Let's see, we don't need this station. We do need, however is to go ahead and complete this. And it looks like we may need a little bit of landfill as well. Let's see, it went one too far. Okay, so that is going to be our in. And, uh, oh boy, we are, got our own bots working on the job now, which is okay, but I would rather just drop all of that stuff that we need inside of those two chests and let it take care of itself. So let's get over here real quick. Let's see, we are going to need some robo ports. We're gonna need some electric furnaces. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab them all. We're gonna need stack inserters and regular inserters. We need belt. We need undergrounds. We need splitters. We need power poles, train stations, signals. All right, let's just throw it all in here. That, 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 that. That, that, I think that's good. Probably some rail, grab some rail. I don't need that much rail. All right, and they will start working on that. And while they are working on that, we can lay the top rail. That's the iron, or that's the output line. And I uh, went too far again. Not far enough. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so this will be our out for our ore trains. And this will be the out for our plate train. Sit here and let my bots work on whatever they can. Don't think there's a whole lot more I can build here. Might be able to throw out some signals or rail over here. Anything more, anything interesting? Not really. Okay, these are my bots.
All these are my bots? Yes, they are. I'm gonna probably need to put chest in that requester chest as well. Does it say we need not enough logistic storage available? Why would you need storage? No idea. Maybe it was something one of my bots placed? I'm not sure. But you say you may need storage, and um, well, for whatever reason, I'll get you covered. Um, I do have storage chests. Just plop a couple down for whatever reason and throw the chests in there. And yeah, I mean, uh, that should get them going. They just need um, a ton of inserters, it looks like. And I think we've used all of our inserters. Yep. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to base, I guess, and grab some more inserters. And then we can... Boy, that thing just goes, look at it go. Like the, like me some nuclear fuel. Really, really, really like that. We'll get that, and um, then we'll have, uh, let's see, four, four smelting areas ready to go. That means we need to find a source of copper to tap, and I'm not really sure which one we want to hit. Um, I was hoping to uncover maybe some over here. There's 102 million down there. That might be the one we go for. 48 million there as well, 24 million, 34 million, or maybe these over here, I'm not sure. Either way, I think we're going to have to run this rail down, maybe get some landfill and take care of these lakes, and uh, we're going to have to get this stuff moving. All right, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.